11.48 a.m. I've eaten some food at home, but now I want more breakfast. I'm craving pancakes. Decide to go to Stanton's, waiting to be seated. I don't have much money, so I check the menu. Pancakes are $1.99 for one, or $3.99 for four. So it seems like I can afford pancakes and coffee. I'm waiting there. A black guy is there too. So I'm waiting like to be seated. I think they forget or don't put me on a list, so I'm waiting a while, it seems. They put the black guy on the list ahead of me. I have this backpack full of blackberries. I think I'll use blackberries on my pancakes instead of, or in addition to syrup. They keep me waiting a while, but it seems like I don't have much planned killing time. Song in the background is Strange Clouds. As I'm waking up, someone is sort of giving me a pep talk, I feel. The message is that things can change, that the status quo seems normal until one day it isn't anymore. Stanton's owned the Samoa Cookhouse where I worked with Brett. But what, what I'm talking about is Stanton's Cafe, which was in Eureka, downtown Eureka. However, my recollection of this place, it didn't seem like, it didn't actually look like Stanton's. In fact, if I think about it, and I try to think about what it looked like, the environment that I was in, it looked like this restaurant that's outside this place called Seven Feathers, outside of Roseburg, Oregon, a casino. But I've never, I don't think I've ever eaten at that restaurant, but I've just seen the, the front of it and it kind of looked like that. I think blackberries is coded. But the other thing this reminds me of is um, this day that I, the last time I went to the Freshwater Grange when Brooke was a baby, like Brooke was probably about a year and a half. And um, I must have stayed overnight at my parents' house. Well, maybe I didn't. But anyway, she was a baby. And I went to the Freshwater Grange, and we picked a bunch of blackberries outside the Grange and brought them in with us. And so I had the pancake breakfast, and I had blackberries with my pancakes. And I wrote about it in my journal. And I think that was the last time I ever have been to the Freshwater Grange. I think... You know, based on that um, video for the song Girl with Faraway Eyes by the Rolling Stones, which appears to have been inspired by the Freshwater Grange and also in part by Sacred Hearts Church in Eureka, the Freshwater Grange, people who are linked to the Freshwater Grange are involved in covert murders, mind control related murders enacted through grids like the telephone or electrical grid. And I think that's why um, it's blackberries. Because I think a berry is maybe a double meaning. Berry, B-U-R-Y, and berry. Like a berry that you eat. And black means covert, but it could also mean somebody who is literally black. I'm not sure if this black guy is supposed to be representing somebody who's literally African-American or black or covert or both together. Because it seems like, you know, you see that he's on the list, and they um, serve him ahead of me. So, say, if I were somebody who had the capability of killing people, and I were a racist, then I might feel like he got something that I deserved, and I might want to enact revenge on him especially if I was empowered to do this through mind control technology and I knew that I'd get away with it and the whole community would support me on it. And um, I'm going to use it instead of or in addition to syrup. And I do think syrup now, um, as it's come to me in my dreams, is actually code for opiated cough syrup. And that in it, that in turn is maybe shorthand for 
forcing addictions on people or tricking people into becoming addicts, trying to trick people to become addicts through the medical system or through the people that you put around them, the people and the situations you put them into. Um, so what this might mean is that, you know, I'm in the place of somebody who might decide I want to get revenge against this person. Um, maybe I will you know, bury this person, or maybe I will set this person up to become an addict, or maybe both. That might be in there. The leaf just fell out of a tree. Jet. Looks like the same type of jet. I know it's not going to pick up on my phone. It looks like the same type of jet that flew over me really low yesterday. The blue tips on it. But it might have blue tips. It's so far up I can't really tell. And it's louder. Okay, so... Maybe Stanton's is significant in all of this. Strange Clouds is a song about um, mind control technology, electromagnetic manipulation of clouds. So the creation of and manipulation of clouds and weather through um, frequency-based technologies. I don't know who has the capability of doing this. You know, I would have thought that it was just maybe a limited, well, I think it's limited, but it's not, well, I'm going to cut to the chase. I think the FBI has the ability to do this. This is not just the military. I think it's the FBI. The reason I think it's the FBI is because of um, people that seem to be involved in it. Like, you know, if Charlie DiCostanzo was involved with this, I don't think Charlie DiCostanzo was working with the military. Um, Julia Butterfly, I already talked about that when she was doing her tree set, the winds were really bad that year. So I don't think the military did that. And to whatever extent it is the FBI, it's black ops. So they probably also are involved in, I mean, well, no, I know that they're involved in this, in these, you know, setups with addiction, trying to get people addicted to things. That's what I think, and that's why I think this is about. And later on, a few hours after this, Chris asked me about eating pancakes. So um, somebody probably got to Chris's brain and gave him a, you know, interest in eating pancakes to the point where you're talking about eating them tomorrow, but, um, you know, being able to crave something specific, which I kind of was in the stream, and then which Chris later on told me, not just something specific, but pancakes.